Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a, another Transformers 4 video. Um, and this is this is not an update. Um, I will class it as an update because, you know, it's to do with Transformers 4. Uh, but it's just my uh, theories because I've, I've been thinking about this for a while. And I'm not... Um, it, it's, it's something that I've... I've always considered to be with the, with the new film. So I'm going to give you guys my theories. Um, the main point of this video is my general theory that I think uh, the new Transformers 4 film, I think uh, Michael Bay has, he's taken a lot, a lot, and I'm happy about this, uh, he's taken a lot from the success of... Transformers Prime, um, you know the animated series. Um, he, I, I've just been noticing a lot of stuff, and if my theories are correct, and there's no, you know, there's no chance that they could or couldn't be. I don't know. Um, if they are correct, then it will be brilliant because anyone who watches the show will know how awesome it is. And in my opinion, and I love the films as well. I think Transformers Prime is better than the live action movies. I just, for first of all, you can't go wrong with having Peter Cullen and uh, Frank Welker as Optimus and Megatron. That's just a fact. Um, and the show has a lot of heart and um, it has a lot of well-known voice actors as well um, who, who take part. Even down to Tony Todd who played um, Dreadwing. So, um, it's... Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, like I said, I think Michael Bay, this is just a theory... Um, is is taking notes or, or taking aspects, probably the better word, um, from the success of Transformers Prime. And I've so I've jotted down my theories here, so I'll go over them and I'll stick some pictures up on the screen. Um, my first theory is um, the redesign. I've I've said this from day one, ever since Michael Bay announced that the robots were being redesigned. I've always said. Um, that my personal theories are the redesigns will be more like the Transformers Prime look in the fact that they'll have that movie style transformation where you see little bits and stuff move around, but um, they'll have that simpler design like they do in Transformers Prime. That's just a theory, but when Michael Bay said redesign, that's what I envisioned. So, um, so if he does that, then that's cool. Um, my second um, theory is. Um, the base, um, uh, the Transformers, uh, the Autobots base in Transformers Prime looks very, very similar. Just the area, uh, it it just looks very similar to where they started filming for Transformers Four, which was, <coughs> excuse me, uh, which was in Monument Valley. Um, so. Like I said, it's just a similarity that I noticed. Um, so, you know, maybe I'm looking too much into things. Probably that. Um, but it's just little little details like this. Um, so, my third theory is Optimus' new look. Um, it, obviously, his vehicle mode had a huge redesign. And I think it looks a lot more towards his um, Transformers Prime alt mode. I know he's still got the flames. The Transformers Prime vision doesn't have the flames. Um, but I think it looks a lot more more towards that version anyway. <coughs> Excuse me, guy. I've got a really bad cough. Um, so, yeah. So, there's Optimus. Um, the next as aspect is Bumblebee. Um, look at Bumblebee. What has just happened in Transformers Prime for season three? Bumblebee got a new a new colour scheme. What was the colour scheme? Mainly black with yellow, with like hints of yellow. This is what a lot of fans and lots of just Bumblebee fans have um they've called it the stealth Bumblebee look. I think it started in the in the Revenge of the Fallen game, I think, I'm not sure. Um but this is called Stealth Bumblebee, that that the main bit of, being it black with a hint of yellow, that's Stealth Bumblebee. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and what have we just seen in uh, announced by Michael Bay the other week? Bumblebee's back, and what's his main colour scheme? It's black with yellow, just like Transformers Prime. I know it's a completely different car, and the 
the paint scheme is different. Like he doesn't have like the yellow stripes, and but you know, and he has that bit at the front. But it's still m- taking that aspect from Transformers Prime, where he's now got that new new color scheme. So there's another thing. Um, next on the list is Hound. Now I know Hound isn't in the um, isn't in Transformers Prime. Um, one aspect that I am looking at at Hound is his vehicle mode. Because, well, to be honest, that's all we've seen. But look at Hound's vehicle mode. Now look at Optimus's vehicle mode for uh, when he got um, redesigned. Um, look at his vehicle mode, which he scanned in Transformers Prime Season 3. Can you see the similarity? I, I know, I, like I said, it's just it's just theories, but I think they look very similar. And it might just be coincidence. Um so yeah, there's another similarity. Um, now, really going off um, this last one, um, it is literally just theory. So take it with a pinch of salt because it's just it's just fan speculation. It's it, all fans do it. I do it. Um, everyone does it. Um, I've had my theories about who certain characters could be. Um, I'm guessing that the um, the Lamborghini could be Smokescreen. If it's Smokescreen, who joined Transformers Prime last season? Smokescreen. So there's that theory and um, my penultimate theory. Um, on the recently re- revealed Sonic RS Rally car, which I did in my update um, yesterday. Um, this, um, like I said, we, we don't know if this is even Transformer. This, Like I said, this is all fan speculation, so take it with a pinch of salt. Um, but I, if you, as you guys will know, in that video that I did yesterday, I speculated and I said that I would guess if this rally car is a transformer, I would guess maybe it was either tailgate or trailbreaker. Now, if it's tailgate, we didn't see him much in Transformers Prime, but he is really a key character for one of the main characters in Transformers Prime, and. He he is in the show. We we've seen him, but only for a flashback. Once again, though, that was in Transformers Prime. So if Sonic RS Radicar guy was him, that that there'd be the another link. Um, and the final bit of news. Uh, don't really have a picture for it, so I'll probably just stick up a picture of the Autobots rolling out. Uh, um, it's actually no. I'll stick up a picture of um, Mech. From Transformers Prime, um, because this is going off of my my last theory. Um, a couple of them about probably two months ago, I imagine. Uh, we heard about um, uh, you know that the synopsis of the film and the I, it hasn't even been confirmed yet, uh, but it was the possibility that um, humans these would be the human villains, um, human scientists as well. Um, were creating or trying to create their own transformers now this is very odd because what did we have in transformers prime we had mech mech were the human villains of the show and what's um spoiler alert if you haven't seen season two yet don't just don't listen to this um uh mech created um Nemesis Prime in the show. Um, Nemesis Prime was fully controlled by the humans. He wasn't his own, as he has been in previous series. He, he isn't his own, his own character. He isn't. He doesn't control himself. He was being controlled back at Mech's base by the Mech leader Silas. Um, kind of just like a rope that he was just controlling it with like joysticks and stuff. Um, but yeah, like I said, that links in the humans building thing, uh, trying to build transformers in the movie. That's exactly what Mech did, and to be honest, they achieved it as well. Um, so, and what's just um, crept up online today? Uh, on set picture of that rusty truck up close. We still don't know what faction or whatever it is, but we have seen that rusty truck up close here, and. It's got flames on. It's a rusty truck, but it's got flames on. Now, this is really, really key. Because now a lot of people can speculate, oh, that's well, 
that's something to do with Optimus because of the flames. And already a lot of people are speculating. And we, we're we going to speculate until the sun goes down because it could be anyone um, for any reason as well. But my theory come up of, well, if it's got flames on the side, who had flames on the side? Optimus did. And he still does. So maybe this is the <clears throat> maybe this is the vehicle that the humans create um, to create that transformer. Something similar to Optimus Prime, very similar to what Mech did. Just a theory. God, I really need a drink. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so like I said, guys, it, this was all speculation and theories, and like I said, it's a drop in the ocean. Um, in, in it's a drop in the speculation from fans ocean because there's going to be so many theories out there and um no one knows who's right so um but like i said it was just playing on my mind and um i just wanted to get this video out there because i want to see what you guys think of these possible links to transformers prime i look at it and i think there's too many links to transformers prime for it for something not to be true like that so <coughs> so um so yeah guys let me know in the comment section what you think um feel free feel free to say if you completely disagree with the idea because you know what like i said it's speculation and that's what we do that's what as fans that's what we do with these movies we speculate and that makes it all exciting so um yeah i just i don't know uh, i'm just uh, i probably look too deep into things anyway uh <laughs> so um yeah so let me know in the comment section what you think guys um whether you think my theories are absolute rubbish or you agree to some some um some extent so uh yeah guys let me know and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date and uh i will see you guys in the next video have a nice day guys need a drink <sighs>